Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions. And we are given a second order linear differential equation. We are going to solve a problem using reduction of order method. So let's get going. Problem solve x into d square y by dx square plus 1 minus x into dy by dx minus y equal to e power x using reduction of order method. See, we are given a differential equation with variable equations and also the equation is of order 2. Given differential equation. x into d square y by dx square plus 1 minus x into dy by dx minus y equal to e power x. Right? Now, let's write the given differential equation in standard form. In order to write this in standard form, we have to make the equation of d square y by dx square to unity. So, we'll divide both sides of the equation with x or multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x, right? So, let's divide both sides of the equation with x. I'm going to write directly d square y by dx square plus 1 minus x by x into dy by dx minus 1 by x into y equal to e power x by x. Then d square y by dx square plus okay, you're having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we'll split this into two terms. We'll get 1 by x minus x by x into dy by dx minus 1 by x into y equal to e power x by x. Right? Then d square y by dx square plus here x gets cancelled you will get 1 by x minus x into dy by dx minus 1 by x into y equal to e power x by x. Consider as equation number 1 which is in standard form. Now compare this equation with standard form of second order linear differential equation and find p, q and r. Compare 1 with d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r. We get p equal to 1 by x minus x and q equal to minus 1 by x and r equal to e power x by x. Right? Now we need to find the part of complementary function of equation 1 using inspection method. Just observe P. You are having 1 by x minus x and Q is minus x. See so this is 1 not x sorry. You are having P equal to 1 by x minus 1 and Q is minus 1 by x. So I am going to try 1 plus P plus Q which is equals to 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 minus 1 by x. Just substitute P and Q here. We'll cancel plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 by x and minus 1 by x which is equals to 0. Therefore, 1 plus P plus Q equals to 0. Since we know that if 1 plus P plus Q equals to 0, then y equal to e power x is the part of CF of 1, right? Therefore, y equal to e power x is the part of CF of 1 where u equal to e power x. Then derivative of u with respect to x is e power x. Or you are having u which is equal to e power x. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then we'll get derivative of u with respect to x equals to derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. Okay. Let y equal to uv be the general solution of 1.
say already we are having u which is e power x but we need to find v right then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into 2u by sorry into du by dx 2 by u into du by dx dv by dx equals to r by u consider it as equation number 2 now substitute p u du by dx and r and u in this equation 2 from this we will get capital V and from capital V we will find small v then d square v by dx square plus p is 1 by x minus 1 plus 2 by u e power x into du by dx derivative of u with respect to x is e power x into dv by dx equal to r by u okay here e power x gets cancelled and this becomes d square v by dx square plus 1 by x minus 1 plus 2 into dv by dx equal to e power x by x into e power x right here also e power x gets cancelled and we'll get d square v by dx square plus 1 by x minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 into dv by dx equal to 1 by x okay now let dv by dx equals to capital V then d square v by dx square will be d capital V by dx okay then the above equation becomes dv by dx plus 1 by x plus 1 into v equal to 1 by x which is a linear equation in v and x okay now compare this equation with the standard form of linear differential equation Now compare this equation with the standard form of linear differential equation dv by dx plus p1v equal to q1. By comparing this two, we will get p1 equal to 1 by x plus 1 and q1 equal to 1 by x. Now we need to find integral p1 dx and then integrating factor which is given by e power integral p1 dx and then we will use the general solution formula of the linear equation v into integrating factor equal to integral q1 into integrating factor into dx plus integral constant c1 okay let's now find integral p1 dx which is equal to integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx which is equal to integral 1 by x into dx plus integral dx since integral 1 by x dx is log mod x so you'll get log mod x plus x or log x plus x now the integrating factor becomes e power log x plus x now split this e power log x plus x as e power log x into e power x since we know that e power log some function of x equal to function of x so we'll get e power log x equals to x into e power x which is our integrating factor now just replace this formula v into integrating factor x into e power x equals to integral q1 1 by x into integrating factor x into e power x into dx plus c1 here x gets cancelled this equals to integral e power x into dx plus c1 integral e power x dx is e power x plus c1 right now we got v into x e power x equals to e power x into c1 right now take this to RHS then we will get v equal to e power x plus c1 into 1 by x into e power x this equals to e power x by x into e power x plus c1 into 1 by x into e power x here e power x gets cancelled you will get 1 by x plus c1 into 1 by x into 1 by e power x this equals to 1 by x is x inverse plus c1 into 1 by x is x inverse and 1 by e power x is e power minus x so we got v
और इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग वन बाय एक्स एज एक्स इनवर्स एंड वन बाय ई पॉवर एक्स एज ई इनवर्स जस्ट लीव इट ओके विल सी दिस लेटर नाउ सिंस वी नो दैट कैपिटल वी इक्वल टू डी वी बाय डी एक्स राइट लेट्स रिप्लेस कैपिटल वी विथ डी वी बाय डी एक्स एंड विल गेट डी वी बाय डी एक्स इक्वल टू वन बाय एक्स प्लस सी वन इंटू वन बाय एक्स इंटू वन बाय ई पॉवर एक्स Now we need to separate the variables. In order to separate the variables, I'll take the differential dx to RHS. Then we'll get dv equals to one by x plus c one into one by x into one by e power x into dx. Right? Then dv equal to one by x dx plus c one into one by x into one by e power x into dx. Here the variables are separable, so we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to integral one by x into dx plus c one integral one by x into one by e power x dx plus some integral constant c two. Then integral dv equal to integral one by x into dx plus c one into now write one by x as x inverse and one by e power x as e power minus x into dx plus c two. See this integral is not integrable, so we'll just leave it like this. Then this becomes integral dv is v equal to integral one by x dx is log mod x plus c one integral x inverse into e power minus x into dx plus c two or v equal to log x plus c one into integral x inverse into e power minus x into dx plus c two or V equal to c1 into integral x e inverse e power minus x dx plus c2 into sorry plus c2 plus log x. Now we got v and already we are having u. So let's find general solution using y equals to u into v. Therefore. The general solution is given by y equal to u into v, which is equal to u e power x into v c1 integral x inverse e power minus x dx plus c2 plus log x. We'll get c1 e power x integral x inverse into e power minus x into dx plus c2 into e power x plus log x. Into e power x, or y equal to c one e power x into integral x inverse e power minus x dx plus c two e power x plus e power x log x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order method in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.